This is, see if I can get the name right. Halfway Creek Trail. That's what it's called. And you can see it goes all the way back in the town again, so that's good. Well, good Wednesday afternoon, everybody. This is Dave with Nomadic e-biking adventures and we are in uh, Holman Holman Wisconsin which uh, was like a two and a half hour drive south of uh, where we just uh, were house sitting in Stillwater, Minnesota. So we've been here before, if you kind of uh, recognize the name. This is our third time doing a house sit for these uh, people. Two lovable black lab, or not black lab, one's a chocolate and one is a uh, yellow lab maple and willow and two little kitties so we're going to go on a little uh, ride uh, into Holman a little bit and I saw on the map that there's a, a couple trails that go down eventually to where we want to go on the state trail so we're going to uh, I'm go and readjust my uh, my mirror here let's, let's turn just a little bit Turn this just a little bit that way. It's uh, a little after four o'clock. Uh, it's in this, I think it's in the 70s now. But, uh, relatively cool out I guess there was a cold front that came through last night so it's a little bit cooler today so we'll be at this location house sitting through Sunday and then we start our trek back to Texas So, uh, I think the last time I was here uh, might have been in May, April, I think it was May, May 10th, May 10th sounds familiar. So I think the first time we were here we kind of just went through the subdivision. Now we're getting a little bit better at everything. We're uh, picking up on uh, where some trails are. And I noticed some trails that start in town here for a little bit. Let's see what this is saying to me. Part of this I've been on already. Uh, this route that I uh, mapped out a little bit uh, should be about 15 miles. Should be able to get it done on one battery. 
without too much uh, hassle. We get on the state trail over here. Uh, I think round trip. I think we had done that one. It was like 30 miles. That's a really nice state trail too. It's not paved. It's kind of like more like a two tracker, and it goes over the uh, Black River. down to the next uh, stoplight I believe the trail that we're coming back on it comes through that same intersection uh, and it's going to veer off to the left so we're going to be staying on the main street here we'll see if we can spot the trail that trail might be just the sidewalk too it's all hard to hard to say for sure Yeah, I wanted to get out today after traveling just to get a uh, another trip under my belt. And I mentioned yesterday that uh, we officially hit uh, 2,200 miles on the bike. We're at 2,209 right now. Now we're going to be going straight. And I think we'll just cross when it, the light changes here. A lot, of, uh, a lot of trails and whatnot. And there was a really nice uh, uh, state trail that we went on last time we were here. Oh, there's a little bike lane number. So we're going to be zipping down to the uh, to the state trail, but we're not going to. I don't. No, we won't be getting on the state trail. Uh, we'll be uh, just turning around before we get to it, and I'll put the name of this trail that they got on it. I think it was like Halfway Creek or something like that. But it's got a little trail that goes through and it must follow like I think I saw that there is a creek. Uh, it's called halfway or halfway circle or something like that. I'll put it up here when I uh, go over the video later. 
but this will take in the downtown and then we're gonna uh, branch off of it there's a softball game last time I was here there was a uh, softball game going on too or baseball I think it's hardball I think at this interchange up here, we're turning left. Poacher's Corner. What a neat little place is here. There's a little Toll Joe's Pizza. I wonder if that's pretty good. I was going to try some pizza. Yeah, I think this is turning here. Last time we went further down to a subdivision. They got the pool open. There's actually some kids swimming in the pool. Yeah, it's kind of cold to be in the pool. But there's the kids. Bet you they're only going to be in the pool for a little bit. I remember when I was younger that uh, we went swimming in the lake. We went, took swimming lessons. And, oh, I remember that, man. I thought for sure there was ice on the lake yet. It was cold. Hardly any wind out today. I think what I'm going to be doing tomorrow is seeing if I can adjust these brakes a little bit. Or seeing what kind of condition my uh, brakes are in. this this was partially on the road and then there was a trail just off the curb
Yeah, we've been uh, we've been up north here now since uh, March. Been riding around uh, different places, uh, house sitting and whatnot since March. And now we're going to start heading back down uh, to the heat and the humidity. This is a nice time of year to be up in this area because it's it's relatively cool. In fact, some of the some of the homes don't even have air conditioning. It doesn't. There's not a real demand for it. I mean, it's. When it gets humid and stuff, you know, people just uh, stop, slow down. Kind of an interesting deal, you know, I was a lineman for the power company and in our contract, when I worked in the Milwaukee area, uh, we had an inclement weather clause in the union contract. When it got above 90 degrees, you didn't have to go out and work you weren't they didn't send you out unless it was an emergency or outage or whatever but yeah i mean uh <laughs> it's very rare that it gets 90 degrees and you go down to texas <laughs> it's uh see now i think this is where that trail starts we're gonna hop on here just to get on the trail say we're here in texas they don't have any climate weather clause <laughs> i kind of joked when i first came down there to work in san antonio uh, it was like it was it was just underneath 100 degrees but the humidity was terrible it felt like 110 or 115 degrees and uh it's just a matter of man you gotta stay hydrated i done so uh <laughs> yeah big difference in in uh working conditions here for something I don't know what all this is about the food giveaway pantry wow look at all these people getting uh, handouts can't tell me everybody's been hurting that much that they uh, they need to sit in line to go pick up some pantry goods Ruby's pantry traffic Wow holy smokes it keeps on going all the way down there that is unreal Prague just goes around the corner too. That's unreal. Well, it's still going. This guy's uh they got traffic control up here. It's going all the way around the block into the next subdivision. Wow.
That is unreal. See, I think the last time I was on here, I stayed on the road. But I'm trying to uh, make sure I can uh, pinpoint where these trails are. And obviously, if you can stay on the trail, you're, you're out of the traffic, the flow of traffic, or you may get into uh, uh, traffic and you know being able to get hit how you doing hi there turning to keep on going. good time there were the three or four months that I've been up here uh, I battled uh, snow my first house sit that I had with Minnesota got hit with a snowstorm locked me down for about a week and a half until all the snow melted away and I was able to go out and even when I went out it was barely 40 50 degrees So uh, now it's uh, June, coming up on 4th of July, This should be about uh, an hour or so, and uh, like I said 15 miles, give or take. I think I had uh, planned it out pretty good. So we're going to cross this go across the street here this is the trip that I'll take to uh, get on the state the state trail map which uh, the state trail is just on the other side of the road here so it dips down um, and I forgot the name of the trail I'll remember it when I see it Get a bunch of cars all stacked up behind me. That's good, at least they're not uh, cutting in front of me and, and uh, cutting off the flow of traffic. I've got 
forget the name of this little town. It's just a little town. And over on the left hand side is where the uh, state trail is. That comes all the way from uh, La Crosse. stop sign you would be going left and then immediate right well there's part of the, the uh, state trail there but today we are going to turn right and take this back the other way That's where we would get on the state trail probably tomorrow. I want to map out the uh, the route I'm going to take tomorrow this evening. I think for the most part it'll be just what we did, getting on the state trail and then taking it uh, about 15, 20 miles. And it goes over the Black River. Black River is the big river here. And there's a, I think it's an old railroad trestle. Hey you. And uh, here we're going to keep on going straight. Somewhere along here is where that other trail, that half, half trail, whatever it's called, comes out. So I'll have to keep my, uh, my eye out for that. Oh, look at that. We've still got farm machinery. Here comes a big tractor. A red tractor, a big case. I started watching a couple farmer videos on YouTube. It's kind of interesting how they, uh, they do everything. The life of a farmer. This ain't bad. It's not a bad road here. You got some pretty decent shoulder here to ride on. And even says the bicycle route. Bike route. It's all good.
Really? Bike route. So this is the bike route that turns right here, so... I think it actually goes here. Let's see what let's see what it says here, what this is, so if I can get the name right. Halfway Creek Trail. That's what it's called. And you can see it goes all the way back in the town again, so that's good. Cool. And uh, looks like it's a gravel. And a steep hill. The gravel's not too loose. Oh, that's a steep hill. Hopefully that's the uh, steepest part. <clears throat> so it looks like we're going down again. So I've never been on this one, so I gotta really take it easy. It's like what we just came up. See, and there's washouts there too. That's the stuff you have to watch out for. <laughs> oh, I forgot to say that uh, on the way here today about maybe a uh, half hour north of here on the way here I saw a black bear crossing the highway I was wondering oh, yeah, what the heck is that that was a black bear crossing all by himself kind of a nice little trail. I don't think you're going to get too many spandex boys using it with their little thin bike tires. But it's great for uh, the e-bikes if they're uh, built for off-road, which most of them are. Yeah, it looks like there's a Highway crossing, but it looks like it goes underneath the bridge. Good. I think I just saw a deer crossing on the other side of the bridge. I saw a white tail. Literally a white tail. <laughs> Kind of a neat little trail. Surprised I didn't see this last time. The only reason I saw it was because I had the Onyx uh, map and I was kind of looking around for it and I have got uh, some of the trails highlighted in green. So... 
just a matter of connecting the dots. I think you got a mile marker. Mile marker number two, which where are we going? Is that one at the beginning? This must be following right along the uh, the river here. Well, I think it was a uh, okay. That trail I think goes. Can't tell where this one's going. There's a bridge right here. And this one goes straight. Let's take the bridge one and see what happens. Just not sure if that bridge... They may hook up with each other. Or this one may go back out to the highway. Yeah, this one goes out to the highway again. It's, uh... It goes to a subdivision, so... We're gonna go back around and get on that other one. There's a nice little bridge. Very nice little trail. Now marker two and a half. Must have got a deal on signs. Hi there. crossing underneath
I guess. Back out, civilization a little bit. And looks like we're going downhill for a little bit. Marker three. Oops, going the wrong way. I did. It should go to the left here. Alright, so I think this brings it out to downtown again. And we're going to go on the other side of the street to the left. That's where we had turned earlier. Right, this should take us up to that uh, intersection. And then it was showing that there's a bike lane. Um, that goes off to the right. side of the street has a bike lane marker nothing on this side and there's a Holman Middle School Two bars left. Yeah, we're just over 11 miles, 43 minutes on the seat. So up here, it should if I remember right. It looked like there was a trail that was had a. Uh, see what this looks like. Yeah, there is a trail right there. It's gravel. It's still part of the trail.
right guys we are heading on the way back we just finished up uh, switching out our batteries and we're uh, going to be leaving this golf course I believe this is uh, mile marker 9 pretty close to it so we're going to head back to our turn off No snowmobiles. Remember. Drugans Castle Mound.